how did you uh, get interested or involved in cybersecurity? Uh, what's your story about that? It's actually pretty interesting. So I, I went to university, I have an undergraduate degree, of course, um, and I just did computer science, I just did a very broad range. And I knew when I started my degree, I wanted to go into machine learning. And I knew that I wanted to do text because text is really good because it allows you kind of with a lot of machine learning, you look at graphs a lot and you don't have the same um, level of kind of understanding a graph as you can with tech. You can kind of understand that human see it looks about right. So I knew that's what I wanted to do. Um, and I had the choice to do cybersecurity courses, which I have not because I have got, I've been a web developer since I was 13. I know a lot about PHP development. So I was like, nah, 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 I'm not taking cybersecurity. Mm. That's a risk. I'll do three different web development courses, ace them, perfect, done. Um, so I finished my degree and I had a job, which I really didn't like. I worked six months at a utility broker as a data scientist and developer. And I realized, wow, I'm unfulfilled. Jesus Christ, I'm having a bad time. And I just had this like realization, I just going to lunch one day and I was like, I really don't like my job. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I have to get a PhD. I have to start a PhD because I knew a PhD is what I wanted to do. Um, so I was like, I'm, I'm just, I can't afford to be picky. I just apply for everything. So I applied for a few and I got into two different ones. One was uh, kind of a, about kind of more what we call digital humanities, which is the mix between um, kind of computer science and the humanities. And one was the cybersecurity NLP one. And I was like, I'll go for the I'll go for the digital humanities one, and then they rejected me at the last second. I was like, well, I guess I've already got one choice, <laughs> so I did the cybersecurity. I wasn't actually interested in cybersecurity before I started my PhD, but the more I did my PhD, the more I realised, oh, this is this is kind of cool. I'm really actually quite enjoying this. Fellas, YouTube enabled memberships for my channel, so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. So my PhD is all about looking at uh, security reports and using machine learning to try and draw out details of security reports. Um, so a human analyst wouldn't have to go through them all. They could look at the kind of broad picture and then they could kind of work out which reports are worth reading and which reports were reading in more detail. All right. That's, that's interesting. I'm asking you this because I've also had some, I've actually studied uh, machine learning myself, but like nice. informally, uh, I'm kind of self-taught in that. So I was wondering what kind of machine learning you're actually doing. Are you actually working with simple algorithms or you're doing some sort of a complicated type of neural network to actually analyze those reports? Um, so I do natural language processing, which is machine learning on text for people who aren't aware. Um, and it covers a bunch of different applications, everything from um, how Google knows which documents to give you back from a search to how like translate systems work to your spell check on your computer. So it's got quite a, a wide range of applications. I don't do deep learning or neural nets or anything like that. They haven't actually shown for a lot of NLP as um, good as they are for stuff like computer vision and a lot less common in NLP at the moment. Although there's a push towards them. Um, a lot of my stuff uses unsupervised machine learning because we want to try and do as much art uh, to help analysts without having to rely on large amounts of data because they won't necessarily have large amounts of data to begin with. Now the complexity comes less from the actual algorithms which are pretty simple, apply and wait for the results to come out and more in developing a lot of algorithms with each other. Like something like Google Translate is the same where actually the whole translation system is not super complex, but it's all these different things laid on top of each other. So there's something to retrieve the words, there's something to find what translations are, there's something to do kind of uh, translations where you go from multiple languages. And that system makes it very complex. So mine is the same where I've got algorithm that's going into another algorithm, that's going to another algorithm, that's going to a UI, that's also going to an algorithm. So a lot of it is this kind of uh system where it's like layers and layers and layers yeah that's that's how the actual complexity is in the system it's not like complicated or complex as a deep learning thing but is complex as simple algorithms stack upon um one yeah. on top of the other fellas check out my python basics course to learn the fundamentals of python you need in cybersecurity. there's a discount link in the description